Hello everyone and welcome to a quick Stata tutorial sponsored by the FHSS Research Support Center here at BYU. Today we're going to be talking about how to deal with duplicates in your data. So if you guys could go to the Workshops tab, click on Stata, and scroll down to duplicates.dta and click on that and download that into your Downloads folder. Let's go ahead and open up Stata and hopefully you're looking at your Downloads folder. If you're not, please uh, switch over to that. And so we are going to be using our duplicates um, data. And so type in use duplicates, comma clear, or you can just drag and drop it into your Stata window. And for starters, we just want to see what this data looks like. So we're going to browse. You can either type in BR or go up to browse. And so as we can see right here, we've got an ID variable, a gender variable, socioeconomic status variable, and then three variables that are measuring your scores on reading, writing, and math. And usually variables like ID are going to be unique identifiers um, or a primary key variable that has to be unique. And as we can see here, there's two number ones, several number twos, threes, fours. And so these are going to be duplicates. And one thing you'll notice is that they can be duplicates just on ID, but they can also be duplicates on all of these variables. So as we see, this person has an ID of number one, and their, um, their gender is female, and they are of low socioeconomic status. They've got a reading score of 34, writing score of 44, but their math score is different. So we're going to be talking about how to deal with some of those as well. So... Out of all of this, I don't want to go through and try and memorize which ones are duplicates and which ones aren't. So we are going to, we are going to type in duplicates report to get a report of the duplicates. And how you read this is there's 197 observations that have one copy, which is what we want. So there's zero surplus. But we have six observations of which there are two copies, meaning that there's three surplus. So there's three unique ones. And then we've got three observations that have three copies, meaning there's two surplus. So there's one unique one. And we're going to learn about how to deal with this. Now, this is duplicates, as it says here, duplicates in terms of all variables. But what if I only wanted duplicates in terms of a few variables? And as we go look up here to our variables view, some of the reading, writing, and math scores were different. So I just want those that are unique on their, or those that are duplicate on their ID, female, and SES variables. So what I can do is type in duplicates report and then type in what variables I want to look at, such as ID, female, and SES. So now we can see duplicates in terms of ID, female, and SES. And you can see the difference here. There's now 195 observations that are unique, but we have eight observations that have two copies, and three observations have three copies. So now what we're going to do is um, we're going to list these instead of just like browsing them or getting a report. Um, we're going to actually have Stata display it for us. So if we type in duplicates list, um, I'm also going to give you an option right here, sep by, and then you give it a variable name. So this is going to separate the um, with lines by the variable that I specify. So I'm separating by ID. So you can see right here, the ID variable, we get twos, all of our twos, and then it's going to separate three, four, five, as you can see. So we can see what the duplicates are now. So we can see if we want to consider them duplicates. But once again, this is a duplicate in term in terms of all variables. So if we type in duplicates list, and then we type in the variables that we want to see duplicates on, such as ID, female, and SES, and then we'll go ahead and separate by the ID. Now we can see it's narrower because we're only looking at some of the variables. We're not looking at read, write, and math. But you can also see that now we have included ID 1 because as we remember before, its math score was, was a little different. So now we have all of the duplicates that are duplicates on ID, female, and SES. So next, I'm going to show you how to tag these duplicates so you can see the number of duplicates that there are pretty quickly. Um, well, it creates, it'll create a new variable for you. So we are going to duplicates tag, 
and we only want to tag these duplicates if they are duplicates on ID, female, and SES. And once again, we are going to generate a new variable. And we are going to call this numCopy because it's the number of copies that we will um, see. So as you can see up here, we've created a new variable. And so now we want to list if numCopy is greater than or equal to one. And then we want to separate by ID so we can see it a little easier. So now this tells us the number of copies that there are. So for ID, uh, well, for ID one, we can see that these, they're duplicates for these three, but it's slightly different here. But since we asked it to look at duplicates for these three variables, we can see that there's a duplicate and it tells us that there's one duplicate. Whereas for ID two, there's three of them, which means that there's two duplicates. There's one unique one. And so that's kind of cool if that, if that helps you at all. So now real quick, we want to look at this right here and you know, this is, this is wrong. Let's say we, we know what the math score is supposed to be and it's supposed to be 84. So let's go ahead and change that. So we're going to change math equal to 84 if ID is equal to one. So now we can go ahead and list, actually, if you just press page up, it does the last command. So now we can see that it's replaced that. So now we'll go ahead and look at our duplicates report again. And this is over all variables. So now we can see that since we've changed this, this is included in all variables. This is considered a duplicate over all variables now. So now this is 195, which is what it's supposed to be. So now what do we do? Well, we've got all of these. Let's just get rid of them. So we type in duplicates drop. Boom. It just dropped duplicates that were duplicates across all variables. So now if we type in duplicates report, it's going to show us 200 unique observations. And that's what we've got for today for duplicates. Thank you for stopping by.